Okay, boys and girls, welcome to day two, not day two, but day one, video two of unit seven. So let's talk a little bit about what is a quadrilateral. A quadrilateral is a, we don't want that, a closed figure with four sides, hence the name quadrilateral. The sum of the angles in a quadrilateral is 360 degrees. And there are various types of quadrilaterals that we're going to look at today. And for today's lesson, our primary goal is just to be able to identify the type of quadrilateral we have. Okay? So our characteristics. In a, in a one type of quadrilateral is a parallelogram. Opposite sides are parallel, hence the word parallelogram. Opposite sides are congruent. Opposite angles are supplementary. What does that mean, supplementary? They add to 180. So I'm going to try to draw. I meant to put these drawings in for you, but I'm going to try to draw an example of a parallelogram. So to indicate the lines are the sides, opposite sides are parallel, we would do that to say these two are parallel and uh, give me another color, blue, we would say these sides are parallel, okay? To indicate congruency, we would use little hash marks. So one hash mark would mean these two lines are congruent. It's raining really badly here. And double hash lines would mean that these two sides are congruent. OK? So that's an example of a parallelogram. Rectangles, and you're probably familiar with the rectangle. It is also a parallelogram, but it's a special type of parallelogram. Opposite sides are parallel. Opposite sides are congruent. So I would put one tick mark, one tick mark, and then two tick marks two tick marks to indicate they're congruent. Opposite sides are congruent. All angles are 90 degrees. So in a rectangle, all of these angles are 90 degrees. What else can we classify a rectangle as? Well, a rectangle is a quadrilateral. And it's also a parallelogram. Is a rectangle always a parallelogram? Yes. Is a parallelogram always a rectangle? No. OK? But rectangles are always parallelograms, but parallelograms are not always rectangles, because a parallelogram could also be a rhombus. In a rhombus, opposite sides are parallel. Opposite sides are congruent. Opposite angles are congruent. How else can we classify a rhombus? Well, a rhombus is a quadrilateral.
a rhombus is a parallelogram. Is rhombus always a parallelogram? Yes. Is a parallelogram always a rhombus? No. Here's a question for you. Is a rhombus a rectangle? Well, under the right conditions, a rhombus could be a rectangle if all of its angles are 90 degrees. So a rhombus looks like this. And a rhombus also, all of the sides of a rhombus are congruent. I don't know if it's on here, but all sides are congruent. So that should actually say all sides are congruent in a rhombus. Okay? So a rhombus could be a square if its angles were 90 degrees. Then that would, I'm sorry, it would make it a rectangle if its angles are 90 degrees. So sometimes it could be a rectangle. Okay, a square, opposite sides are parallel. And again, this should say all sides, because it's a, all sides are congruent. All angles are 90 degrees. So a square looks like this. with all the angles being 90 degrees and all the sides being congruent. So what are some other classifications for a, a square? Where it's a quadrilateral, it's a parallelogram, but a square is also a rectangle. And a square is also a rhombus. It's a special classification of a rhombus and it's a special classification of a rectangle. So are squares always rectangles? Yes. Are rectangles always squares? No. Is a square always a rhombus? Yes. Is a rhombus always a square? No. So finally, we have a trapezoid. And in a trapezoid, one and only one set of parallel lines. So its only other classification is a parallelogram and a quadrilateral. And a trapezoid looks like this. And this and this side are parallel, but not congruent. Finally, we have a kite. And a kite has two distinct pairs of adjacent uh, congruent sides. Opposite sides are not parallel. So, I'm sorry, a, quad, a trapezoid is not a parallelogram, I'm sorry. It's just a quadrilateral. So the only other quali uh, classification for a quad kite is also just quadrilateral. So these two are just quadrilateral, not parallelograms, that's all that all they are, because parallelograms have two sides of parallel lines, so these are only quadrilaterals. Sorry about that. And a kite looks like this. You probably have seen a kite. And I am not the best at drawing these, so please forgive me. And that does not, that looks like a rhombus, doesn't it? That's okay. Drawing is not my forte. So these two lines would be congruent. And these two lines would be congruent in a kite. Okay? 
but they are not parallelograms. They're only quadrilaterals. Now to give you a better picture of it. So this is a quadrilateral. This is a weird quadrilateral. It's none of the categories that I've given you before. Here's your kite, and in the kite, these two sides are parallel, um, congruent, and these two sides are congruent. In a trapezoid, this side and this side are parallel. In a parallelogram, this side is congruent to this side, and these two sides are congruent. In a rectangle, these two sides are congruent, and these two sides are congruent. And all of our angles are 90 degrees. In a rhombus, all sides are congruent. In a square, all sides are congruent, but they have 90 degree angles. So notice a square is a rectangle, but a rectangle is not always a square. A square is a rhombus. All three of these, all three of these are parallelograms. Okay, a square is just a special case of a rectangle and a special case of a rhombus. Okay, having said that, I want you to think about questions one through seven. I want you to try to answer them with the words sometimes, always, or never. Take about five minutes to answer those questions and then you and the sub can go over them. And then for homework tonight, you have a Delta math activity Unit 7, Lesson 1 in Delta Math. And also remember, tomorrow you'll have a quiz on quadrilaterals, on transversals, and on piecewise functions. Okay? Um, have a great day, and I'll see you tomorrow, guys.